Thank you for joining me today as you learn all about college and the opportunities that lie ahead for you. My name is Jackie Berry and I'm an outreach presenter for the Minnesota Office of Higher Education. In a moment, I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can follow along as I give you lots of useful information. Our hope is that it will help you in finding the best college for you. Types of colleges. First, we're gonna talk about career college, and this is a school that focuses on a specific profession. The time commitment is between two months and two years. As examples of schools in Minnesota are Aveda, Energy Healing International, and Fair Hypnosis. Examples of jobs are cosmetologist, yoga instructor, and travel agent. When you graduate from a career college, you earn a certificate designated for a specific career. Next are community colleges, and these are post-secondary institutions that focus on general education requirements. The time commitment, again, falls between two months and two years. Examples of schools in Minnesota are Minneapolis College, Inver Hills Community College, and Normandale Community College. Examples of jobs are preschool teacher, paralegal assistant, and dental assistant. When you graduate from a community college, you earn a diploma, certificate, or associate's degree. The really cool thing about community college is that you may transfer these credits over to a four-year university. Oftentimes, students start at community college because it's cheaper, and then they transfer their general education requirements onto a four-year college in order to obtain a bachelor's degree. Technical college. This is a post-secondary institution that focuses on hands-on training in a specific career. The time commitment is between two months and two years. Examples of schools in Minnesota are Hennepin Technical College, Anoka Technical College, Dakota County Technical College, and then examples of jobs are medical assistant, carpenter, or veterinarian technician. When you graduate from a technical college, you earn a diploma, certificate, or associate's degree. And just like community college, you may be able to transfer some of those credits over to a four-year university. Four-year college and university. These are post-secondary institutions that focus on undergraduate, graduate, and professional degrees. The time commitment is somewhere between four years to 12 years, depending on the degree you try to obtain. Examples of schools in Minnesota are the University of Minnesota, St. Cloud State University, Minnesota State University, Mankato, and examples of jobs are teacher, lawyer, psychologist, or journalist. You would earn a bachelor's, master's, or doctorate degree when you graduate from a four-year college or university. People sometimes wonder what the difference between public and private colleges and universities is, and mainly it is the way that they are funded. Public schools are mainly funded by state governments. They may also receive donated money, but this is not their driving force of income. While private schools are mainly funded by endowments, they, which is donated money, and student tuition and fees. Neither one is better than the other. It really comes down to what that school can offer you as a student who is in attendance. Another good website is College Scorecard. Here, you can compare different colleges. In this example, we have compared colleges in Minnesota that have a 70% graduation rate or more and cost less than $30,000 a year. As you can see, it pulls up schools that fall under that criteria and then gives you other details such as graduation rate, salary after completing graduation, and more. Another form of searching on College Scorecard is to look based on a specific program. So this is a comparison with a journalism program at 70% graduation rate or more and costing less than $30,000 a year. As you can see, it pulls up the different schools that have a journalism program that fall under those criteria. And if you wanna learn more about a specific school, you can click on view more details. These are two great ways for you to figure out which colleges should get the most attention from you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was really helpful and good luck in finding the perfect college for you.